Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know already, I'm on a 10 week trip across Europe with my boyfriend. Right now we are in Turkey. We're starting off our trip in Turkey in Antalya, which is a city on the Mediterranean coast of Anatolia. It's known as the tourism capital of Turkey. It's home to some of the most beautiful beaches in Turkey and it's filled with so much history and so much good food. So we're starting off our time in Antalya with a little walk around Old Town, which used to be within these big city like stone walls. In Old Town, there's tons of little stalls and vendors selling everything from old jewelry to clothes to little trinkets. Old Town is one of the biggest attractions in Antalya. You could honestly spend hours just walking around looking at all the different stalls. You can also walk along the coast and you can see some people fishing, lots of boats in the harbor. There's lots of restaurants where you could eat a meal and have a view of the whole thing. There's also some old historic buildings and structures that we want to go see. Hadrian's Gate is one of the biggest ones, and then there's also some mosques around town that we want to go visit as well. There's this one mosque that originally was a Roman temple, and then it got turned into a church in the Byzantine era, and then it got turned into a mosque. But inside, you can still see the, the foundations of it as like this Roman temple. It's super, super cool. Okay, we just finished looking at the mosque. It was so beautiful and for whatever reason there was like no one else in there with us. So we got to look around for a really long time and like it was totally quiet. It's so crazy because it's so, so old and has been like converted into different purposes so many times. It was so cool, but so well preserved. So then we also decided to do a boat tour. And this boat tour is advertised as taking you to the Turkish Maldives. Basically a beach tour where you visit three different beaches, you stay for like an hour at each beach, and you probably spend around six hours on the boat in total. You also get a lunch service, and if you want to buy food or drinks, you can as well. Morning! It's the next day, and it's early. Early, early, early in the morning. My boyfriend decided to book us a little boat adventure, which I was very excited about until he was like, oh, by the way, we have to get up at 6 a.m. <laughs> and it lasts like 10 hours. <laughs> and, now, and I was a little nervous, but now we're up, we're out of the house. Um, we basically have to get like in this van that drives us an hour and a half to the boat pickup point. And then it brings us to like a bunch of different beaches and like stuff like that. And there's lunch on the boat too. So now I'm excited. We made it. We're trying to stare. <laughs> okay, they stopped the bus for a little coffee break. So that's definitely what we're doing now. We could also do a little snack. That, chocolate, this one, and then cappuccino. Okay, we made it! It's so pretty here. There's actually quite a lot of people, but there's tons of space to swim still. And we already put on our sunscreen, so we're gonna get in the water. The boat tour that we went on cost 35 euros each, which is around 990 lira, which we thought was a really good deal for like a full day adventure. It's definitely an experience I would recommend because the beaches were amazing, the water was so clear, you could jump off the boat into the water. It was super, super fun. Although I would say if you're in a group of five or more, I would recommend doing some research into whether you can find a more private boat or even just a smaller boat because it was a bit loud and crowded, but it honestly, if there's only one or two of you, I don't think it's worth getting a private boat, but if there's five or more, look into it. You guys, we need to talk about the food here. Like, I knew the food was gonna be good. I was most excited about the food coming to Turkey, but I'm blown away. We started our trip. The first meal we had was a Turkish breakfast, which is my favorite kind of breakfast because it's a bunch of different things that you can have a little bit of each one. Every time we've had it, it's been a little bit different each time. There's something new. I thought we'd be sticking to Turkish breakfast the whole time, but we actually branched out a little bit and tried probably the second most popular breakfast dish, which is menemen, which is now my favorite breakfast dish. It's basically tomatoes and eggs and spices mixed together. It is 
is so good and you can dip your bread into it. We also tried some like more casual fare. We had this pita bread with some meat on it that was super good and so cheap. I also didn't think that I would be drinking as much tea as we've been because I figured if it was so hot out, I wouldn't want to have a hot beverage, but it honestly cools you down. Another drink that I've tried is Iron and I actually you love like it. it. It's so good. Yeah. At first I didn't, but then I did. Mm. I like want to pour it on my chicken. <laughs> I think this might be our favorite restaurant that we visited in Antalya. We went twice while we were here. If you're ever in Antalya, I would really recommend going. They have the specialty dessert that we tried and it's like pumpkin with tahini sauce and little bits of peanuts. It's so good and it's such an interesting combination of flavors. Also, we've been eating a lot of Turkish dessert, especially baklava. Oh my god. Okay, really good. On our last day in Antalya, we decided to do a beach day. Hello! So we are headed to the beach again. I'm super pumped. It is the hottest day it's been so far. It's so, so hot. So it'll be nice to be by the water. I'm honestly probably gonna hop in as soon as we get there. So we went to Roxy Beach Club, which was around a 20 minute drive from our Airbnb. And we got a beach bed by the water, which was around 800 lira or 28 euros. You could also do a beach chair, which is a bit further from the water for a bit less money. We ended up spending like four hours here. It was so, so nice. And now it's sunset and it's so much quieter. I finished my book. Now we have to go home and pack because we leave tomorrow really early in the morning too. We have to get up at like 5.30, which sucks. But tomorrow we go to Cappadocia. I feel like Antalya was like the perfect introduction to Turkey. I'm so glad we started here. Also feel like we could have spent more time here. I kind of wish we had more time. But yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Turkey content. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more travel content. Next we're going to Cappadocia, so follow along if you want to see that.